weak people can justify weakness by castigating the entire world around them and standing above them as moral heroes. It, 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 the temptation has got to be just too juicy and too good. But the problem is, is it's a loser perspective. You're going to be blaming the world, and though you may be able to get some special privileges and attention for it, your life is going to be unempowered. It's going to be miserable, and you will live and die as a loser. Guys, thanks as always for tuning in. There's no video sponsor, but if you would like to support the Warrior Poet Society, please go shop our website, warriorpoetsociety.com. That's warriorpoetsociety.com. We got all kinds of products and stuff that you don't know about. Maybe you haven't checked in with us in a while. Look at all this stuff. Really appreciate it. Enough of paying the bills. I got a hot topic, and here it is. What's happening, my friends? John Lovell, Warrior Poet Society, and we're talking about victim mentality today. I'm not talking about victimhood as in you've been wronged or betrayed or lost a job or you had a bum rap or you've suffered a lot. In that sense, I'm a victim and you're a victim and everyone's a victim. And then we can play the game of who suffered the most, but that's not really what I'm talking about. It's there's victims, people who have been wronged or just crap happened to, but then there's victim mentality. See, to me in a victim mentality, it means instead of just losing, you know, something went wrong and you're down in the dirt because you lost, you've been victimized. Victim mentality means you stop getting up. You stay there. It's like, woe is me. I'm a victim and it's not my fault and there's nothing I can do about it. It's the ultimate loser mentality to have a victim mentality. Uh, I'm a victim. What can you do? And that's the cancer I want to talk about today. And I wonder what is the human impulse that would desire victim status. Why would you want to be a victim? And that's what I see in the grand scheme of America is a desire to compete with each other and to see who can be the biggest type of victim. Now, I understand well enough why our rulers would want us to have victim mentalities. And quite simply, it's because it makes us entitled. We're very easy to enslave when we have that entitled victimhood perspective. Furthermore, it's kind of the just classic, put the haves against the have not, that's Marxism stuff, and the people are fighting against each other, and so they don't look up and be like, oh, it's our rulers that are dividing us, so we're fighting about race or sex or gender or any of that other kind of stuff, when really, it's the rulers that we should be challenging who are putting us against each other, so we don't realize that it's their sleight of hand that's taking power and manipulating us. I get why our rulers would want us to be victim centric. But you and I, why do we fall for it? Now, I've gone through immense amount of suffering in my life that you know nothing about, and perhaps vice versa, you've gone through terrible stuff as well, and you've been a victim. But being a victim and having a victim mentality, again, completely different. Victim mentality means I'm down, I'm out, I've lost, and I'm not trying to have personal accountability and bring my way out of it through grit and determination and intelligence and hard work ethic. It's none of that stuff. It's like, I'm just going to yell about it. I'm going to complain. I'm going to demand safe spaces and I'm going to say I'm easily offended. And so the whole world needs to bow down to me, the fragile snowflake. And because I'm a victim, everyone else has to shut up and no one else is allowed to speak on this because you don't have my exact brand of victimhood. And so why in the world? would we go along with such a loser mentality? Now, I have some theories. I do want to hear from you guys. I want y'all in the comments. I want to talk with you in the comments about this because I do want to wrap my head around it. In the one case I just led into, well, it kind of allows the person, the victimhood status person, to receive a lot of attention. Of like, people really want a lot of attention. That's always been true. Of like, look at me, give me attention, focus on me. Attention, attention, attention. I'm a YouTuber, and so perhaps that one hits a little close to home. Another part of why someone would want to claim victim status and take on that viewpoint, that ideology, that mentality, is, is because I believe that it allows people to have special privileges societally. I get to whine and call somebody wrong, and you can't argue with me because you haven't been through what I've been through as a uh, victim. I would remind the viewer that I have gone through really awful stuff that you don't know about, and so in the same way you could kind of castigate me and say, well, you haven't suffered in this way. I'm like, great, you haven't suffered how I've suffered. And so what's the point? All of us have suffered. All of us have lost. The big thing is dust yourself off, refuse to take a victim mentality, 
stand up and drive forward. Take accountability. Take, take responsibility for your own life, regardless of how the world has mistreated you. Some of you started out with lots of privilege, and I hate the word now because it's been so misappropriately used, and some people just a bum rap, but I've seen too many success stories of people who've climbed up from rags to riches, and I've seen too many people with all the privileges that just became utter dismal losers. The American dream means it's opportunity. You have equal opportunity to go at something. It doesn't promise that you have a better starting point. It's just not the world we live in, and you can cry about it all you want, but it won't change the fundamental facts of the world that is in front of you. And so what are you going to do about it? You want to strive toward being a winner. It's going to be hard, and it may not go the way you want, and you're going to have to suffer a lot. Or you can just be a loser and whine about it but nothing will change. You will just be a whiny loser rather than just a quiet loser. That's it. But you know, this morning I found myself thinking of a different reason, and it's this. Imagine that someone's just a weak individual. Uh, no backbone, no moral fiber, no intestinal fortitude, no grit, no discipline, weak moral character, and something goes bad. Now that person can either choose to say, ah, oh, I'm weak and I need to get stronger. Or they can say, you know what? I'm a victim and I've been wronged. And if I've been wronged, it's because someone else has done something wrong and that's oppressive and it's evil. And if that's evil, then I'm good. And now in me being a victim, it shows the world that I'm of moral fiber and goodness. And so now the more of a victim I am, the worse the world is and the better I am. It's a way that weak people can justify weakness by castigating the entire world around them and standing above them as moral heroes. It, 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 the temptation has got to be just too juicy and too good. But the problem is, is it's a loser perspective. You're going to be blaming the world, and though you may be able to get some special privileges and attention for it, your life is going to be unempowered. It's going to be miserable and you will live and die as a loser. So though it's caught up in the air, in the very water, this victimhood status, warrior poets, don't you dare take the bait and fall for it. Yeah, you've had a bum rap. Yeah, you've been betrayed and yeah, you've been hurt. And the weak around uh, want to shame the strong and they want to silence you. And the big answer for us is to take accountability and control for our lives and responsibility for our lives and recognize uh, though I have been victimized, I am not a victim. I am on a journey. And even if I get knocked down, I'm going to keep dusting myself off. And I'm going to try again and again and again. And I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to surrender. Come at me. That's it.